Hello and welcome into the Sunday Sports Extra. I'm Andrew Chernoff. We have another crazy show for you tonight. Later on, we'll show you this week's SETX Sports High School Boys Basketball Rankings. Plus, high school football coaches will be working hard this week at a coaching clinic. Central's Toby Foreman and LCM's Randy Krauts join me in studio to talk about it. First, though, there's another coach everyone wants to hear from, and he's here in studio tonight. New Bridge City head coach Dwayne Dubois joins me. Coach, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate it. How crazy has this last week been for you? <laughs> It's been pretty crazy. Uh, you know, it's been pretty hectic. It's like I, I haven't slowed down one way or the other. So it's, it's been crazy. It's been, uh, I'd like to say it's been fun. It's been exciting. I guess that's a good word for it. Approved on Monday. What led to the decision to take this job? <sighs> wow. You, you know what? It, 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 was a, it was a struggle. It was a hard decision. Uh, uh, Crystal and, and myself and the boys loved it at Harden Jefferson. Uh, and they've been super to us. And, uh, uh, it's one of those deals we prayed about it and, and a lot of thought went into it and it's just something about going home and uh, you know something I've always wanted to do and we felt like after uh, you know discussing it is something that we need to do so one thing led to another and, and, and so here we are. You graduated from Bridge City back in <laughs> should I say the year? Go ahead. 86 right? Yeah 29 years ago is what they said in the newspaper. <laughs> That's so what they said in the newspaper. Kind of old, yeah. yeah. What's it like you think? What's it going to be like to coach at the school that you attended as a student? Well you know uh, I think it'll be exciting. It'll be different. Uh, I coached there when I first started coaching so I know what it's about. Um, athletics in general is a, it's a, it's a uh, sports oriented town. They're crazy about athletics and uh, I think it'll be fun. It, it brings some new challenges you know coaching in your hometown because you know people there family, friends, and things like that. So it's going to bring some new challenges, but uh, it's something I'm looking forward to. We'll talk more about Bridge City in just a second, but obviously breaking the news to student athletes at Harden Jefferson was tough. What did those kids mean to you during your time there? Wow, you know what, the, I love those kids. They mean the world to me. Uh, that was one of those, probably the most, uh, the hardest decision or the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life was telling those kids uh, that I was not going to be back. Uh, you know, some kids there, that those kids have done everything that, that we've asked them to do uh, from a coaching standpoint, from a personal standpoint. Uh, what can I say? They're just great kids, and I'm going to miss each and every one of them. But like I told them, you know what, guys, I'm not going to be here next year, uh, but I will always consider myself your coach. Uh, it'll be hard, but I think they've learned some life lessons, uh, hopefully, and uh, I think they'll be fine. Bridge City, rough couple of seasons the last mm -hmm. two years. How do you get this team back in the playoffs? Well, you know, it's all about expectations. Uh, the same thing when I went to Harden Jefferson, people said, uh, you know, what are you doing going there? They're not very good. I've heard that about Bridge City, but Bridge City has an excellent uh, tradition in athletics. Uh, I know those kids there. I know a lot of them, and, and they're, they're tough kids, but we've got to go in and we've got to change the mindset, uh, change the culture, change the expectations. And uh, I don't, I, you know, it's a tough district that we're put in, uh, but, you know, I'm ready for the challenge. I've talked to the kids over there, they're ready for the challenge. and. Uh, I think we're going to surprise some people next year because our goal going in from week one is to win a district championship. So those things will not change. What's your first order of business? Uh, the first order of business for any, any coach is, you know, I'm going to go in and, and visit with the kids and, and just get to know them. Uh, there's some great kids over there and I look forward to working with them, but especially the senior bunch, uh, you know, those kids, uh, they didn't ask for a coaching change. And uh, so you've got to embrace those seniors and, and I plan on doing that. And, and just get involved and, and you really take this coat off and everything and get ready to work. Uh, so the first order of business is to get in and get to know the kids and, and, and that kind of uh, deal. Last question, Coach. I'm sure you have some Bridge City apparel from the past. Are you <laughs> getting those out of your closet right now? They don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, I, I, I really don't. And, and um, someone said, well, you're from Bridge City. Uh, I've heard everything. Some people think I still have a house over there and I don't. I, don't, I do not have any Bridge City apparel as far as uh, from what coaching apparel now. Um, is there stuff from way back when when I was in school? Yes, but that doesn't fit anymore, and it's probably not in style either. So <laughs> uh, we won't be breaking that out. Absolutely. Good deal, Coach. He'll, of course, be starting out his tenure next fall as the official head coach of the Bridge City Cardinals. Dwayne Dubois, thanks for coming on the show, thanks, and Andrew. best Appreciate to look it. at BC as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. We're going to step aside, but on the other side of the break, we keep the high school football talk going at Central's Toby Foreman and LCM's Randy Krauts. Tell us about an event you will want to check out this weekend. 